Hey there guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be discussing humidity. I had a couple of requests asking how I keep my more humid loving species humid without overly doing it. So I'm going to show you how I deal with mine. The three things I want to discuss so far are these. These are going to be our three tools in working with the humidity. Now the first, anyone who keeps tarantulas probably recognises this. It's a standard like mister, available from any garden store, department store, B&Q, home base, you name it. The, the, the dead easy to come by. If you can't find one of these, you're not looking hard enough. Only thing I recommend is, don't borrow your mother's or your sister's or your next door neighbour's or your grandmother's or whatever. Or if you do, make sure that it has only ever had water in it. If it's had pesticides in it, if it's had other chemical like additives added to it, no good. No good. While some of those may not kill your tarantula, it's really not worth the risk. Besides, £2.50 for one of those from your local store, you do the math. It's cheap enough to buy like several of these in case it works. Anyway, that's that. The second one is one that came up in a picture topic that I put up recently. Tiny little PET bottles, little tiny spray misters, they fit nicely in your hands. They're actually sold for cosmetic purposes. I've no idea actually what you're supposed to put in them, but I bought them from a store called Muji. Now Muji's a lovely little Japanese, Chinese, Oriental sort of, basically Ikea in a nutshell. And they sell all kinds of cute little weird things like these. Trouble with Muji is they're really not a common store. But anywhere that sells little cosmetic spray bottles like this will probably do. Again, just make sure it's had nothing in it. Give it a nice thorough clean out with hot water beforehand. All it is, it's a nice little really fine mister. Absolutely perfect for your spiderlings. The last one's a fairly... I don't know, fairly unorthodox means. And that's this. That's a pint jug. I've got a pint of lukewarm water in there, fresh out of the tap. Right, first things first, I'll bring across my little avicularia avicularia. That's kept in just a, a cereal container. This one was acquired from a John Lewis near where I lived for about £4.50 I believe. As you can see they've got very secure locks on them. They've got a lovely little hatch here that you can open to drop food in or to water. I've actually glued the uh, water bowl directly below there so it's nice and easy to access whenever I need to. The only problem is, as it will say on the box when you buy it, it is airtight. That's going to kill your tarantula unless you do something about it. What I did, as I didn't have access to a drill or anything, so I've got a nail, a pair of pliers, and held it over a flame. Now, if you've got a gas stove, that's perfect, because you can just leave it on lit and just heat it and poke the hot nail through. Obviously, do this before your spider's in there. Do it in a nice aerated area. Good ventilation, otherwise you're going to be breathing in pl you know, plastic fumes. Not too good for you. But anyway, here's the enclosure with the resident. This is my pink toe. She's lovely and well behaved, very very docile, though I do occasionally have to uh, dodge jets of poop. That's a vincularia for you. All I use for this little one is our standard spray bottle. You've got your two modes of like a direct spray, it's a jet, I'm not sure if you can see that very well on the video, but it's a direct jet. Or if you twist the nozzle, I twist it to closed and then about a half spray. And when it eventually begins pumping, there, an actual mist. Now my hand is absolutely soaked from that. Unfortunately I've got a towel right here. Right, now all you do, simple enough, I do this twice weekly, if that. As you'll see actually at the moment, it's completely bone dry in there. The moss and that that's glued in, yeah I should also say the uh, decor is glued in using a hot glue gun. But simply trying to avoid your tarantula, 
spray gently. I usually give it about maybe 10 or so spray as you want to get your substrate nice and wet. Get the sides of the enclosure nice and wet. Just do that, maybe a bit of the decorations, leave it to it. I'm going to fill up the water bowl as well, the one here. She has actually drunk from that. And that's it. Once or twice a week, liberally spray the enclosure, just enough that the substrate's damp, but there's no surface water left. If you're finding that that doesn't clear, as you can now see, it's relatively steamed up in there, you know, got a lot of condensation on the sides. If that doesn't clear, add more ventilation or mist less. Simple. Next up, slim. It's a Holofele Ense, Trinidad Olive. Tiny little one that I got sent from Virginia Cheeseman. Absolutely brilliant, would not hesitate to use her again. And all this one, same theory, bring this bottle. No water bowl in here because it's too small. A couple of little sprays from above over the webbing and then aiming at the sides. Get the same to climb up and drink it at once. Same, if that condensation doesn't clear, add more ventilation or mist less. Now this is the unorthodox method. I'm going to show you it with my uh, Happy Palmer Lividum first, my Cobalt Blue. She's in here. Dug a lovely burrow at the back here. In here, goes right the way down and round. Now, what you probably can, can't see, or probably can, is everything in here at the moment, again, is absolutely bone dry. Haven't done anything with it in about the past two months. No, you didn't hear me wrong, two months. And this is where the jug comes in. All you do, is you liberally pour this over the substrate. About half a pint, if not a little bit more. Be quite liberal. Just don't be gung ho. There we go, it's actually just about half a pint. The substrate has immediately absorbed it. If I hold this up, you can see it's now on the bottom there. That's fine. Hat Propelma can submerge their bodies. Fine. There's actually quite a bit of water in the burrow. If I move that, can you see it actually sloshing? If she doesn't like that, she will come up to the entrance. And as far as I can tell, get my little mag light. She has moved up a little, that's fine. Pop the lid back on, and I won't have to do that for another like, literally two months. Humidity in that will be absolutely fine. And then I do the same with this one. I need to move her out of this enclosure, I hate it. This is my Happy Palmer Albo Striatum. I don't use as much this time because she's a much smaller enclosure. There we go. It's about a quarter of a pint, if that. If you're really worried, grab your spray bottle, give it a little bit more. Cheers for watching, guys.